Uh, hello friends, in this video I will be discussing the question number 5 of the May 2019 OCR paper of programming. So in the fifth question they are asking that uh, there is a hexadecimal number A3 and we have to convert this into a decimal or a denary number. So now a uh, very simple way of doing this is that uh, we know that we know that a denary number is a decimal number and a hexadecimal number is nothing but a, a binary number grouped in uh, nibbles of size 4 bits. So this 3 is represented by 0, 0, 1, 1 and this A is represented by 1, 0, 1, 0. These are the codes of hexadecimal converted into binary and you can always remember them or learn to calculate them using the binary to hexa conversion. Now once we have this number, now we have to convert it into decimal. Now this number, now let us convert into the denary. So this particular place will be multiplied by 2 to the power of 0. This will be multiplied by 2 to the power of 1. Then power 2, power 3, power 4 are zeros. Then this is 2 power 5 is a 1. And then 2 power 6 is a 0. 2 power 7 is a 1. So 2 power 7. So now we can just add up all those uh, index uh, powers of 2 where the, we are multiplying them with 1. The values with 0 will be ignored. So 2 raised to power 7 is 128. Then 2 raised to power 5 is 32. Then 2 raised to power 1 is 2 and 2 raised to power 0 is 1. And we add this up, so we get a value of 163. You can perform this addition and you will get a value of 163. Similarly, we have to convert in the part B, we have to convert the binary number given here into the decimal or the denary number. So the number is 101101. One, one, one. And we multiply this, so we will start with the power of 0, so 2 raised to power 0, 2 raised to power 1, then this is 0, so we'll skip, so now we have 2 raised to power, this was 2 raised to power 2, so this is 2 raised to power 3, then 2 raised to power 4, and then we have 2 raised to power 5 is 0, and 2 raised to power 6. So 2 raised to power 6 is 64, then 2 raised to power 4, is how much? 16. Then 2 raised to power 3 is 8. 2 raised to power 2. 2 raised to power 1 is 2. And 2 raised to power 0 is 1. So we add these values. So we get a value of 91. See, this is 10, 10, 20, 21. So 1 is here to carry to 2 plus 6, 8 plus 1, 9. So we get the value of 91. Now let us move to the next part of the same question. So in the part C, they are saying that the symbol of caret is used for exponentiation that is for power calculation. So the result of A is to power B is being asked where A is 3 and B is 2. So this is basically 3 raised to the power of 2. So 3 3 is up. 9 is the answer for this question. So it's a pretty simple question. Let us move to the next part. In the next part, they want us to perform a binary addition. So one rule in binary addition is 1 plus 0 or 0 plus 1 will give you 1. And then 1 plus 1 will give you 0 with a carry of 1. And then when this carry is added, so 1 plus, this is the carry, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is there, then you will get a value of 1 with a carry of 1. So if you remember these three things, then binary addition will be very simple for you. So here you will say 0 plus 1 is 1, 
1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1. Then 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1 with a carry of 1. Then 1, 0, 0 is 1. Then 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2 which is represented in binary by 0, 1. And then 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1. So this is the binary addition for this particular number. Now let us look at the last part of the question. It has given a truth table and he wants us to complete this truth table. This is a OR gate. OR gate says if any one of the inputs is 1 then the output should be 1 and if both the inputs are 1 then also the output is 1 only when both the inputs are 0 the output will be 0. So when we complete here 0 0 will give you 0 0 1 1 input is 1 so output is 1 then 1 0 will give you a output of 1 and 1 1 will give you output of 0. So how are these combinations made? See we are, uh, this is this 0 0 represents 0 0 1 represents 1 1 0 is 2 and 1 1 is 3. So this is always generated like this numbers are generated like this and depending on the OR or the logic gate that is being used the values of Q will be determined. I hope this video is useful to you. In the next video I will be discussing the question number 6.